So you guys, I'm getting ready to do a non-invasive BBL. Um, I will not be giving out any uh, product information or the name of the products, uh, the equipment that I use. But if you're wanting to do a class, um, you can definitely come in for a one-on-one -on -one, um, non-invasive BBL class. So here I'm just cleaning off any excess oils on the client before I start my electroporation. And you'll see that shortly. And with the electroporation, I'm actually using two serums. Um, you can actually do two serums but not at the same time so you will have to do one at a time you pretty much just rub it in uh, drop the serum on the area and rub until it's like dry and you can tell the difference when it's actually dried versus if you still need to rub it in a little bit more so that's what i'm doing for the first couple of minutes And this doesn't cause the client any pain. She don't feel anything. Maybe just a little tingle um, from the EMS uh, portion of the wand because it is an EMS and electroporation. And you will do this on each um, cheek. If it was the stomach area, you'll do it like into four sessions, sections, um, you know, to make sure that the serum is being absorbed like it's supposed to. So I'll do that for each area. And in the video, I actually only did one serum, but it's the same process. So here I'm just applying oil to my client um, because I'm getting ready to do a little bit of cellulite therapy um, using my cellulite tools. I have two different ones, so I'm going to use each one um, in the video that you, well, in the shots that you're about to see. 
Uh, one of them is for sculpting, but this one here is actually to break down cellulite. The next tool I'll be using is actually to kind of push up what you've broken down and kind of sculpt the butt to give it that lift. And again, this doesn't hurt the client. Um, they actually say it feels like a hand versus having uh, wood on their butt. And the little device here in my hand, that's another um, device that helps with pulling out cellulite. So I only place it in the areas that she had the deepest cellulite. So that helps as well um, with pulling out cellulite and making her butt look better as far as the cellulite that she had previously. And with each tool, you really want to try to focus on the areas that has the most cellulite. And you want to try to do each buttock like for two to three minutes. Um, and with those, the little device that I have that's suctioning, you really don't have to use that. But, you know, a few seconds because I'm like I said, again, I'm just using it on the areas that had the deeper cellulite. Um, but for the tool that I'm using, the wooden tool that is actually going to be used just like two to three minutes. You can use it longer, but I only have to use it like for two to three minutes at this point in her process right now. She's been coming in for about three going on four months. Um, she started coming in April. At April, we was only doing like a one treatment a week, but we realized that we needed to do more. So now she's doing two sessions per week. So um, when clients or when potential clients ask me, about the therapy or how much it costs or how long will they have to come i make sure i let them know that they're required to come uh, for 10 sessions and i generally do two sessions for five weeks they have to come that first with the first treatment they have to come for those 10 sessions in order to get the process started to get that lift they wanted to get the butt they're wanting and it's all non-invasive i'm not injecting anything in the butt just using all of my tools and just all of my skills. But um, yeah, to get the results that they're wanting, they have to come for five weeks. Or if you want to come, you will have to come for five weeks. I will also offer a training class. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, I will give you all the details as far as all of the products I use, the vendor list for those. And I will also give you the equipment that I use and also where I purchase my equipment. Um, but the tool that I'm using now, I'm just using that to mainly sculpt the butt. So that helps with giving the butt the lift. So I'll do that for like two to three minutes on each side. And then I also use it again after the treatment is finished. And as you can see, um, you can see that she has more of a lift now just by doing this um, versus when we just started the video. So this too actually does help with the lift. Um, I'm making the butt look fuller. So that's a good um, resource that you can use, you know, to help with giving the butts more of a lift.
Again, this is another tool that I use with help uh, with helping breaking down the cellulite. This is a real good um, tool, really. I like how um, it breaks down the cellulite. I like the results that they get, and the clients like it too. It's not painful, so they um, really like this because it does help massage the back of the thighs and also helps with massaging the butt as well, and along with breaking down the cellulite. And with this massager, you want to do this about three to five minutes. You can do it longer if you want, but usually three to five minutes is long enough. So sometimes I do five minutes per side. And you want to make sure that you're keeping your client oil. Um, that does help with the tools working better and it's best to use an anti-cellulite oil that helps in, with, in com combination with the treatment. It's going to help your client get the best results. And I also use the suctioning so that's what you're getting ready to see. But for some reason my suctioning kept on um, wanting to act up. My cord kept coming off. I don't know why it was coming off but usually it does fine but I'm sure because I was recording the video it wanted to act up like right here. It came off. But Still got the job done, but you just want to make sure with the suctioning that you ask the client um, if they're comfortable because sometimes they can be a little uh, painful. I'm not going to say really painful, but more of a discomfort. So you want to make sure that you adjust the suctioning level um, that's going to be comfortable for your client. But you also want to make sure that you're getting enough suctioning so you can get the client the full results. And the suctioning also helps with the lift. So anytime you're doing the suctioning, you want to make sure if it's by the wand or if it's with the cups, make sure that you're asking the client if they're comfortable or if it's too painful. And then you can adjust accordingly based on the client's preference. But you want to get the best results. And the time frame for this, you want to try to make sure you're doing at least three to five minutes if the client can tolerate um, the suction for that long. So now I'm just putting the cups on the client and you'll see this is the most important part where the vacuum therapy is coming in handy. Um, for this, now since she's been coming since April, um, we don't have to leave the cups on for that long. But when the clients initially come in, it's going to be a longer um, process. They'll have to have the cups on for longer. And then you also have to um, adjust the time and the suctioning rate. And here I'm just getting ready. Um, well, just showing you how the cup pulls the whole entire butt cheeks in. And then really left out. So it's not painful, but it is uh, a discomfort. So again, you want to make sure that the pressure level is comfortable to the client. So you want to make sure you ask them if they're having any pain or anything. Because it shouldn't be painful, but it's going to be uncomfortable. So you just want to make sure you ask. And this is me um, just leaving the cups, taking them off after the time. Now, that one didn't show you much of a jiggle like it generally does, but of course, I was recording, so didn't see the jiggle that you generally see, or that I generally see. Now, on the other side, you will see more of a jiggle when I release the cup off her butt.
And I did it in slow mo to make sure that you guys can see it. But watch for the jiggle. Y'all saw it. Just giving you guys a view so you can see what it's looking like after the cups are removed. And I go in with product after um, I remove the cup. The product does help with, like here, I'm getting ready to just do a little bit of the lift with the tool that I use. I did put a little bit of more oil on it, but I also put a um, gel. It looks like it's a cream because it's going to turn white but it's a gel, but it helps with soothing the cheek so it's not as sore or tender as it would be without adding that on, but using the gel helps a lot. And also using the tool that I'm using here just help with lifting what we've already created from putting the cup on and from all of the work prior to putting the cup on. And just rubbing off some of that excess oil so I can put on the gel. And you see how it goes on white, but it will rub in. But it's an actual gel and not a cream. And you only need to use just a little bit because a little goes a long way. If you put on a lot like I did on the left cheek, it's going to take longer to rub it in, but it will rub in. So just kind of be mindful of how much you're putting on. Now y'all see how that thing is thanging. Y'all see how the thing is thanging. So if you want your thing to thang like hers is, then come see me. I'm located in Fayetteville, Georgia. Website is EatonsBodySculpting.com. And you can also comment down below if you have any questions or if you're interested in the training. Drop your question there or go to my website. You can message me from my website, EatonsBodySculpting.com. Y'all have a good day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.